Gama sasa useme presidential candidate mwingine aingie UDA na kuwe presidential candidate. So what we what we agreed with the president ni mimi ni simame, ni msupport kwa presidential campaign, nilizunguke naye kama vile mliona tunazunguka naye. Lakini sasa nikaona watu wameongea oh ameshindwa, amefanya nzani kashindwa nimeshindwa kwa kiti na mimi mwenyewe sijavai. Kwa hivyo there was an agreement yenye tulisikizana. Tukasikizana ni simame nimsaidie kwa presidential campaign alafu na yeye tukishashinda kiti nikaangalia sasa bigger 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 picture nikaona nimsaidie kwa kwa presidential campaign alafu akishashinda then tusaidiane kazi kutoka hapa right. you've uh, mentioned that um, our, the president uh, is very supportive when it comes to creative industry yeah. and recently unfortunately tumepata habari uh, kuwa tutakuwa tukitaxiwa kama digital creators mm -hmm. tungetaka kujua wewe kama uh, creative na pia kama mheshimiwa unaweza sema nini about that and will we, will we have uh, maybe an opportunity to go and table maybe our notes yeah, yeah. ile kitu naweza sema staki niongee sana about kazi ya CS kwa sababu kama unavyojua kesi iko kotini lakini kwanza nataka nimshukuru rais kwa sababu for the first time tumepata arts yenye ni creative yenye ya, ya creative industry yenye mimi nimekuwa for the longest time imeweza kupata nafasi imewekwa kwenye ministry ya youth kitu haijai kuwa for, for the longest time ulikuwa unapata ni sports tu unapata ministry ya youth na sports wana wanashughulika sana na wakimbiaji vitu kama hizo unapata sisi watu wa, 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 wa comedy hawako musicians hawako actors hawako kwa hivyo kwanza namshukuru kwa sababu ameweka arts kama 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 kwa, kwa ministry ya youth kwa hivyo grievances zetu zote at least tutakuwa na mahali tunaweza kazipeleka na mimi nataka ni kuhakikishia kwamba mimi ni mtu siwezi kasimama hapa nikasema ni, niweke kiburi niseme najua kila kitu na mahali nimefika sahihi nimefika kwa sababu ya kusikiza na vile mmesema critics wanaambua atakuwa analipa tax what I, what I can promise you kwa sababu mimi najua na mimi uomba sana tutapata uh, tuta, nitapata nafasi ya kuhudumia kuhudumia kama CES tutakaa chini na, wa, na na nyinyi watu wa digital uh, digital uh, digital uh, na wasanii tusikie zile shida wako nazo na tuone mahali serikali inaweza kaingilia kwa sababu hauwezi katatua shida na mimi na believe naamini na naamini na, na kwamba zile shida mko nazo wale watu wanaweza tusaidia na solutions ni nyingi bado kwa hivyo mimi naweza wa promise after tumemaliza maneno ya kesi kotini tutakaa chini na nyinyi tukae na wasanii na actors tuone mahali kwa sababu ni ni department mpya tuone mahali serikali inaweza kaingilia mheshimiwa unaweza sema uh, you are in people's hearts because of your good music mm -hmm. na ulikuwa unafanya kazi kubwa sana mm -hmm. then ikafika muda ukapotea ukaenda politics mm -hmm. uh, most of your fans were quite frustrated kidogo because mm -hmm. umewaacha mm -hmm. sasa tunaona umerudi kidogo mm -hmm. kwa music mm -hmm. utafanyaje mpaka urudishe ile imani ya your fans kwamba utakuwa nao tena that's why nimekwambia whatever i have uh, sahi nashukuru kwa sababu ni music imenifikisha hapa na mafans wali support sana hata si Kenya pekee and hata ble, hata kiti yote niko nayo nimepata kwa sababu ya muziki na mimi najua ni ukweli kwa sababu once you join politics unapata your fans from the other the, maybe the other party wanapata ni kama mnachukiana ama kuna chuki lakini ukiniangalia kwa siasa yangu mimi si yule mwanasiasa wa kusimama ni tusi mwanasiasa mwingine so what i did ni concentrate na sare i did what i what i had to do for the sare people na na nikafika mpaka mahali nilifika nilifikisha hiyo kazi. Kwa hivyo mimi naweza kasema kwanza wasiniangalie kama msanii. Waangalie kwa ile kazi naleta kwa sababu naamini kuna wasanii wengi sana hata wanatoa nyimbo na azichezwi. Lakini kwa natoa wanasikiza kwa sababu ya zile eh, kwa vile nimeandika nyimbo zangu, mawaidha ambazo napeana kwa hivyo na talent yenye nilikuwa nayo. Kwa hivyo naweza sema bado narudi na ile talent. Kwa hivyo kwa hivyo sidhani sidhani naweza kaforce mtu asikize nyimbo kama sio nzuri. Kwa hivyo what I'll do ni to make sure narudisha hiyo relationship na mafans wangu kwa kuwapea good music. Jambo yeah. hapo can you promise us that bado utaendelea to stand for the truth as much as kwa kwa government. Tunakumbuka kama tukimtu ya. Yeah, you speak out your truth. I don't know why I don't know why people choose only the, the politician part kwa hiyo song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> sababu no, but, hey. hata hata unasikia ngo watu wanikiintroduce mtu anakuita, eh kigego ukuja hapa. The song iliongea juu ya social evils mingi sana eh daktari zile vitu zina happen kwa society sijui kwa nini watu wanachukua ngani kama the worst people ni politicians no but can you promise us that we'll still speak your that's why i've said that's why i've said the the the, the, the appointment i got yeah. i'll sit down na wale wako stakeholders wa hiyo wa hiyo wa the creative industry tujaribu tusaidiane tumalize zile shida ziko i think that's the best i can do kwa sababu hiyo ndio kazi nimepewa okay to come from me switch um let kigeu geu so You know ni funny sana hata 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 it's a funny story kwa sababu I had friends that time na nilikuwa nimeanza kutengeneza pesa kidogo unapata rafiki yako rafiki yako rafiki yako kabisa yeye ndiye anaenda kukusengenya kusema vitu vitu mbaya ambao utuele unapata uh, unapata 
yule mtu naamini kabisa hata watu wa familia yao ndio wanakuchongoa zaidi kwanza kuna siku nilienda siku moja nimepata visa ya US nikaenda US alafu nika, nika, nikaita watu nikawapikia nika nikawafanyia nini nikamwambia eh hey, mimi naenda US wase mi nime mambo yangu imefunguka kufika Detroit nikadipotiwa tena nikarudishwa hapa the same people wenye nilitia bash ndio walinichekelea zaidi <laughs> Unaona kwa hivyo ni song nilikuwa nadhania naandika about shida zangu nikapata ina, ina, ina ni kitu inakata cross kwa kila mtu na watu wakaipenda kwa hivyo By the way I thank I want to take this opportunity to thank Philo my producer na na, na Lucas eh? kwa sababu I remember that night nilikuwa nimeenda Kenzo the Kenzo was shooting his music video and uh, <coughs> Stima ikapotea so watu wakaambua ngojeni kidogo 30 minutes I just started dreaming Niki hasoji uchini ili nivuke boda wana nigeu na muamini I had written it lakini siku anadhania it was a good song so immediately nilimba the producer and I told Lucas akaniambia umeimba nini so I just I repeated the same songs because we were shooting the video at uh, Ogopa Studios aliachana na camera na kila kitu akaniambia let's go record that song mm-hmm. so even mimi mwenyewe siku anajiamini na hiyo song it's only after like one week two weeks producer alinipigia akaniambia sasa whatever you've been looking for umeipata and even shot the video akiniambia nitafute pesa ya video na mwambia i missed it cause cause i had done a lot of videos nikamwambia mimi I'm, told, I'm, i'm not willing to invest more music kwa music videos kwa sababu nilikuwa naona nili kama nimefika mwisho akaniambia tanta kufanyia free so lucas is the one uh, alifanya nijue kigeugeu ni namna sana na ninashukuru wa, wa Kenya mm. eh, mheshimiwa uh, this is this goes to uh, wasewa uh, starehe Uh, there has been a debate online pale Twitter that uh, when you are the MP for Starehe uliko naonekana what do you think about the person who uh, succeeded you man hata wasi wengine wamjui jina you know the, you know you know what happened after unajua wakati wakati UDA ilipatiana certificate kwa kwa mtu mwingine watu walikasirika kwa sababu uh, wengi walikasirika na wakavutia the current member of parliament i'm not saying that he is not doing his, uh, his, jo- his work the way he is supposed to do and there is no way uwezi kasema ati leadership style ya jagua nayo tena ule mp yuko yuko afuate kwa hivyo mimi nilifanya kazi ya kujitolea kuonekana kwa watu kusikiza mashida kutatua lakini unaweza pata ule mp amechaguliwa hata kama watu wanasema haonekani mimi sijui kama anaonekana kwa sababu sijaenda huko sitaki nichomee mtu picha niseme watu wako na different styles za, za leadership na kama vile unavyojua a member of parliament ako na ofisi maybe the current member of parliament ana delegate ofisi yake ifanye zile vitu zinatakikana zina, zina Mm-hmm. Seems like you still be doing your political duties at the same time being a musician. Are there con- any conflicts between music and politics? Na naweza sema iko. Naweza sema iko kwa sababu kwa sababu kama vile nimesema unaona kama sasa mtu akiniona mimi anaona rais rais eh, eh, Ruto. Unajua kama tukiangalia zile votes nayo ODM ilipata kuna 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 kuna, kuna ni kama half half unasema unaweza pata kama country ko divided. Kwa hivyo kufanya watu kufanya kuimba nyimbo ambayo kila mtu atapenda kama mimi sasa inakuwa sometimes unaona kuna mtu anasema huyu ni wa UDA, huyu mimi sitaki kitu kama hiyo. Kwa hivyo kaza nasema kidogo yewe inani affect. Mimi kwangu kuna kuna shida hapo kidogo. Mm-hmm. So there's a list that was published earlier um, and you came in as the number two in Kenya as the richest uh, musician in mm-hmm. in, Who was in Africa in East Africa in 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 in, in in Kenya and then you came in number seven as um, in East Africa and they said you are worth around 7 million USD is that true and if not how much do you think you're worth ile kitu naweza kusema ni nikumshukuru Mungu kwa kunifikisha mahali amenifikisha na niseme na niseme umesema namba 1 alikuwa nani unajua ukiangalia your list mimi nimekuwa kwa industry for more than 15 years na unaona harmonize kwa namba what nini lakini mimi naweza swear hapa before nini kama mtu kama ako there amenishinda na harmonize naweza kaacha muziki leo kaacha kwa sababu unajua wale wanachukua zile vitu wanaona Range Rover wanachukua hizi lakini mimi mimi nimefanya vitu mingi sana sitaki nikae kama najigamba lakini kwa hiyo list wakienda into details yani kuna watu yani wakanishinda hapa yani naweza hata resign kwa hii kitu niko nayo hata hapa huko hata hapa huko ni ningependa tuturudi kidogo kwenye muziki kwa sababu kwa sababu na niko na swali nataka kufahamu kitu kimoja pole 
right now hapo awali we used to see wasanii wengi wakitokea main suit they were hitting on kwa kubwa sana sasa hii kuna plans za kuleta wasanii wengine ambao watakuwa wamesainiwa mm-hmm. ama wako sasa hivi Naweza kasema na ni kashki dataongea on behalf of the main switch lakini mimi kwangu vile nimesema kwa sababu nimekuwa kwa industry unaona the problem yenye iko kwa 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 kusainiwa kwa wasanii kama vile nimekwambia unapata wengi hawachukuli muziki kama biashara that's why unapata kuna hizo conflict kwa hivyo ile kitu nimeambia watu wangu eh, wa main switch kwanza ni kumenta wasanii hii ni biashara tunaingia nikitumia 10000 kwa kwa lazima hiyo pesa itarudi Dasa unapata kuna hizo mashida mingi. Kwa hivyo mimi nasema tutachukua wasanii. Kuna wale wako hata Mustafa mwenyewe amefanya nyimbo hapa inaenda kutoka. Kuna wengi sana wa Merekotu uko na kina ambasada. Kuna wasanii wengi sana wako. Lakini kitu ya muhimu sana ni kujua wajue tuko kwenye biashara. Okay, um, I have a question uh, just a concern yeah. about music. So there's a I think one of the reasons as to why you've been you know making it as a artist is because by uh, it's in line with what you see. Mm-hmm. You sing content, you are, you sing about reality and things that people can relate to. Mm-hmm. That's one thing that people will always remember before. Then it was I think it's also one of the reasons that you contributed to being voted, uh, voted by people mm-hmm. into you know being a legislator. Mm-hmm. Now there's one concern that I have as a gender reporter. Mm-hmm. To some extent music has contributed to how mannerisms have changed among the youth especially today to one or two engi there's so many cases of you know um, sexual abuse and drug abuse and substance abuse as an artist what would you say about you know the, the current music maybe i'm sorry to say quote unquote mediocrity sells a lot mm. because people think about you know sexualizing people and abuse and all that you as an artist what's your take i don't know what we are, uh, what we can do about that because babu valga music have been there for the longest time because i remember even when i was coming up in the corner kama kina manyake and people criticize that criticized it na bado ika hit so i think it's something people like what i can say is that uh, ukiwa msanii kama vile umesema zile nyimbo nilikuwa naimba mimi nilikuwa naangalia society ile kitu inaweza kuwa kama advice ama kitu kingine kwa hivyo naweza kawaambia wale wasanii ambao wanatunga hizo nyimbo kwa sababu they don't last for long kwa hivyo kama unataka kuwa remembered kama legend wewe ufanye muziki ambao una relate na watu ambao uko hata mzazi anaweza kaucheza mbele ya watoto kwa sababu itakuwa na longer life na wewe utakuwa na heshima hata ukisimama mahali kama sasa unaenda mahali unaamba huyu ndio yule ameimba tingiza matako sasa unaona hata ni aibu kwa hivyo mimi naweza kawa advice hata kama inahita haraka na inaisha haraka kama wewe unataka kuwa remembered kama mtu ali make change kwa music industry ni vizuri ufanye muziki ambayo iko na message okay, okay right the current gospel industry can it spread what you talking about Mm-hmm. Me I've never been a gospel artist. Gospel song, gonna I think kuna scandals mingi zilitokea. I think kwa kwa zile kwa music industry. I think watu wakaona ni kama inakaa kama kimchezo. Lakini sidani sifai sidani wa, wa Kenya ama wale wanasikiza gospel music wanafaa wa change kwa sababu ya watu wawili watatu. Ni kama tu ile story ya Shakahola. Mimi naweza kusema ukisoma Bible ukisoma Bible inakuelekeza vile utaishi maisha bila kuumiza mwenzako. Kwa hivyo hatuwezi sema ati tuachane na 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 na, goz, na na neno la Mungu kwa sababu ya mtu mmoja. Kwa hivyo mimi naomba wa Kenya wale walikuwa nasikiliza gospel arts kwa sababu kuna wasanii wengi sana wa gospel. Wasiache kusikiliza gospel music kwa sababu ya watu wawili. Okay. okay. So, um, mheshimiwa, mimi mm. naitwa Mwenye Kazungu. Mm. Na umezungumza kuhusiana na kolabo yako ambayo ni wimbo wako mpya ambao unatoka leo. Mm. Na Lava Lava ni msanii mkubwa sana wa East Africa.